So it's great to have uh, Russell Domingo, the head coach of Bangladesh, with us. Um, we've worked together um, quite a bit with the with the Protea team and other other work as well. Um, so Russ and I know each other's coaching very well, and it's nice to see you, Russ. How are things going your side? No, very good, guys. Um, great to be on the forum. Um, we've been in Oman and the UAE now for about eight or nine days. It's pretty hot, uh, hot and humid. Um, but hopefully start cooling down over the next couple of days. Preparation has been really good, so pretty happy. And what games have you got coming up, warm-up games? Well, we've just had a game against Oman A eh, down in Muscat. Um, this evening we're playing Sri Lanka, and on Thursday we're playing Ireland. So we've got a, a, a nice um, fixture list yeah. before we play Scotland on Monday in the first uh, World Cup game on the 17th. Okay. And um, Russ, you guys have been in nice form. Eh? I mean, you had a great series against New Zealand at home. You guys have uh, played some, playing some good cricket at the moment. <clears throat> yeah, look, we've come off some, some good series wins. We beat Zimbabwe away. Uh, and I know people will say, Zim but Zimbabwe are a very good side back home. Um, we've beaten Australia in Bangladesh and we've beaten New Zealand in Bangladesh. So we, we come into the tournament with a little bit of confidence, Gaza. Um, you know how fickle this game is. Um, conference comes and goes through performances and preparation. So we're not getting ahead of ourselves. We, we know that there's a big challenge awaiting for us in these next couple of um, preliminary rounds to try and get into the main tournament. Um, but we do come into the tournament with a, with a good style of play and a, and, a, and a little bit of confidence having beaten some really good sides back up. Tell us about the, the, the kind of strength of the, of the team. I mean, I know for every um, team you're looking at, uh, especially in T20 cricket, you're kind of looking at balance where you're covering, you know, all your bases that are required in T20 cricket. But what do you think from Bangladesh's perspective, they come in with a, what kind of strengths do they, do they come to the tournament with? I think we've got a pretty balanced side. I think having a genuine all-rounder in Shakib who bats in our top top three or top four and bowls his four overs every single game gives us a, a competitive edge over other sides. Um, there, there are very few sides who have that sort of quality all-rounder that performs as consistently as him. Look, we've, we've, we've got some really good young spinning options available to us. Um, we've got Mustafa's who a little bit different with his, with his cutters that he's able to bowl. I wouldn't term us as being a powerhouse side in terms of T20 cricket. But I think we've got some really skilled cricketers who are able to manufacture performances under different conditions. Um, so not, not, not a team that's going to continuously hit the ball out the ground or bounce teams out, but through subtle changes in pace and, and, and clever thinking in their in, in the batting game plans, uh, I think will be a dangerous side. Will the conditions suit the subcontinent teams? I think so. Um, I think some of these wickets will be played on pitches that have been used in the IPL. I say to the coaches that maybe five, six years ago, everybody was going to think T20 scores are going to be 200, 220, 230. But the scores have actually come down over the last two or three years because bowlers have become more skillful. Um, analysis has become more in-depth. Uh, fielding standards have lifted. Um, so I don't think it's just the power of our sides that can hit the ball at the ground that's going to be the, the winning team anymore. Yeah, agreed. That's a great point. Any kind of World uh, Cup kind of event is, is, an, is an important event for, for any country. But what is your priority in, in prepping the team now and getting yourselves ready for this tournament? Look, I think our preparations probably started five, six months ago, uh, where we started talking about the World Cup and what we want to try and do and how we want to sort of play. I think if you come to the World Cup and now start preparing for it, it's maybe a little bit too late. Um, so our preparation and our talking, our language has been going on for the last five or six months, the style of cricket that we want to try and play. I think ultimately to, to come to this World Cup for Bangladesh is to, to just believe in themselves because generally their performances in T20 World Cups hasn't been that great. I think we've won one World Cup game. So our history in this tournament isn't that good. I think for the first time we come here with a group of players that have got a little bit of belief, a little bit of confidence. Um, We've got, some, we've got some guys that are, are big players in the IPL. Shakib al got the winning runs for the Knight Riders last night. Mm -hmm. Mustafa is a fantastic bowler for Rajasthan. So we've got some players who, who know what it's like to play under these conditions with and against some quality opposition. So I think for the first time, there might be a little bit of belief in the side that, look, we'll scare one or two teams in, in, the, in, in, in the competition and we'll... We'll definitely give ourselves a good chance of maybe getting into the semi-final if we can get through these preliminary rounds. I mean, this is a coaching platform from a from a coaching um, perspective. 
Um, give us a snapshot in how your coaches are working with your players. What you kind of, what are the kind of conversations you're having with them? How are you helping them prepare for this tournament? For us, because we've 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 got a quite an unknown group of players, uh, we're seeing this as a platform to to actually show guys. We, this is where you can make a name for yourselves. I think of a player like a a guy like Lytton Das, who I think is one of the most talented batters in the world, but mm -hmm. an unknown quantity. These are the sort of events where guys you can you can make a name for yourself. Um, you can firmly establish yourselves as as one of the, the best players in international cricket. Mm -hmm. I think our language at the moment is very much about belief. Um, um, knowing that we've we've got the players available that can win a game on their day and mm -hmm that we do not need to be looking at other teams for role models or um, iconic players. We've got some iconic players within our team. And I think Bangladesh in the past has always looked at other teams, iconic players and tried to play the way those guys play. Well, I think we've, we've really got some fantastic players in our side and our players need to look within the group yeah. for sort of motivation and role models and performances that they want to try and emulate. Now I think we're trying to forge our own way and our, our own style of play and our own role models and our own real heroes in our country. That's so nice. And uh, for those of you out there, um, South African supporters, if you want a second team, it could be Bangladesh because they've got three coaches from South Africa in their, in their, in their midst there. So um, I, I always think of Bangladesh as a, as a team um, now when you watch them that they are going to spring some surprises in the competition. They're going to beat some teams that, um, that the opposition would expect that they would beat Bangladesh, but they're not going to. And I think the conditions potentially are going to um, help in that situation as well. But um, one last parting thought. Tell us about the, 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 the World T20 event. What does it kind of mean to you as a coach? And um, what, what are your expectations around the tournament? Look, guys, I mean, if you ask, any coach around the world, geez, would you like to be in a, in a world T20 coaching a major international team? I mean, it's, it's a dream come true for any coach. So yeah. it's a wonderful opportunity just to be part of it, to have an opportunity to try and compete and try and win it um, is, a, is a massive privilege. Um, and sometimes when you're in the moment, you, you forget about how fortunate you are. Um, and, and when you take a step back, you realize oh, this is actually a, it's, it's a big deal. Um, I've got a son who's trying to forge his career in cricket and yeah, I've got 15 young players representing the country in a World Cup event. It's a, it's a massive honor and a massive privilege and sometimes you may be understated and forget how privileged we are to be in the situation. So, very fortunate, very blessed and uh, really excited by the opportunity that's presenting itself over these next few weeks. Spot on. It is a great privilege, but we wish you well at Bangladesh. And, um, yeah, well done so far on the journey. You've got a you've got a World Cup semi final under your belt with uh, with the Proteas. I was there with you. A game we we definitely could have won to go through to the final. But um, you know, my view is I think there are a lot of teams that can win this event, and I think the conditions are going to play a big role. We've seen that in the IPL. I think some of the wickets are going to be tough to score on, and as you rightly make the point, um, you know, on more than one occasion, um, one forty one fifty is going to be a winning score somewhere. I know diff different conditions, but in Bangladesh, 130, you're winning with the bonus point in the last couple of weeks. So, <laughs> the, 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 the lower the score, the better for us, guys, I promise you. <laughs> uh, thanks, Russ. That was awesome.